Los Angeles, a paradise within itself. With the city being home to more than 10.2 million people, it has become a hub for many prospering and efficient companies. With its weather ranging from an average of 74 degrees and is home to 75 miles of beaches, it really is a paradise to those who have experienced it. There is more to Los Angeles than just sandy beaches and Hollywood stars. In Los Angeles, there is an untold truth about the large population within the city. With Los Angeles County having the second largest homeless population of any region in the United States, it leaves many questions to how and why such a prospering city is having such problems with its own citizens. With approximately 55,000 homeless in 2018, there is an ongoing issue concerning people losing their homes and having more and more trouble getting out of their distressing situations. With experts taking an initiative to solve the homelessness crisis, there are many ideas to solve this issue for future generations to come. To not only break the cycle of homelessness, but to try to address issues um, where we can break the cycle of poverty, where we can address mental and physical and emotional illness, and really get people up to a more self-sustainable, self-reliant mode. This needs to be addressed now, but we also need to make sure that the model is addressing homelessness 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now. With California combating homelessness in Los Angeles, many still criticize if these steps are enough to make a difference in African-American communities or even homelessness at all. The air we breathe, the poverty people experience, homelessness, even things like public safety, they're all related to whether or not we can house people and house them in decent, clean, sustainable, affordable housing. I set a very ambitious goal here in LA to build 100,000 units of housing just in the city of LA, which is a somewhat artificial island in a region of 12 million, 13 million people. But to do that, that would be our part. And we're gonna hit that goal. And we probably need more than 100,000 units. So we need affordable rental units, we need subsidized units for those who would be on the brink of homelessness, and we need permanent supportive housing for those who are on the streets today, who might have the deepest trauma and need a permanent place to live. There is a stigma around African Americans who are homeless in Los Angeles, being mentally ill or addicted to drugs. But a mass majority of this population are normal, everyday people who are just struggling to live day to day in a city who has given up on its people. Homelessness is rough. I get harassed by uh, police a lot. You know, I can't set my tent up at five o'clock even if it's freezing and I'm shivering to the bone. I'm scared of getting pneumonia. I had a friend uh, that, that wife had died out here due to pneumonia from being out in the cold. And uh, when I set my tent up, it was just last week, I set my tent up at five, it was freezing. Um, and the cops just rolled up and ticketed me and uh, grabbed me up and forced me into handcuffs just to give me a ticket because I didn't understand why I was in the wrong to put my tent up if it was freezing. The setup here is between 9 and 6. Those, that's the law. So I was breaking the law by trying to warm myself up. With many homeless today facing these issues, it challenges LA City Council to make changes and not keep up with just the rapid growing city, but its population of people as well. The city needs to face the challenges at hand, like high living costs, unjust laws, and the debilitating stigma around their homeless population. As more funding and resources are being given to those in need, we can hope to see changes in the near future.